how to be successful in online school. Well, I'll tell you something, you're on a great path since you clicked on this video. Class is in session. I have been doing online school since last year, yes, by choice, and I've racked up some quality tips that I'm going to share with you guys that will hopefully make your experience a lot better. Before the video starts, I have to admit that I wasn't exactly a 4.0 student, I was a 3.89, but I blame it on trigonometry. Haven't even used that since I graduated. That class got me messed up in all kinds of ways. I just need to do the closing of this video because I have some valuable tips that I'm really excited to share, so let's get started. My first expert tip is to reward yourself throughout the day. You can take this to different extremities. Wait, is that a word? It is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just very excited. That's education. What I mean by small rewards is setting up different checkpoints throughout the day. So after you finish your first class of the day, reward yourself with your favorite coffee drink, matcha drink. That's a personal fave for me. Snack, breakfast. The one thing that motivates me through life is food. So that's what I use during my breaks from school. Today I happen to be lazy, so that yummy snack will just be some pre-cut watermelon that my mom made. It really can be anything. Maybe it's like a little treat. Your reward could be going on your phone and going on for social media a bit. Although I know you're going on your phone during online school because you think that you can. And the truth is you can. That's up for you to decide. But I think it's really important to have little things you look forward to throughout the day so that it kind of motivates you to keep going. It gives you something to be excited about because it's not like you're in normal in-person school where you have recess to look forward to or lunch where you get to see your friends. Some may say I resemble a preschooler for the fact that this makes me happy. However, I carry gold stars with me. I'm actually gonna give you one right now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? When I would feel unmotivated with school, I would literally put these like on my assignments or in my notebook just to boost serotonin. So you really just gotta do what you gotta do. You've definitely heard this before, but I'm gonna tell you again, create a checklist. It will help you keep on track so much more than if you just keep it all in your mind because I know you and you will forget about those things that you have to get done and you're gonna be like, oh my god, I forgot. Well, if you had a checklist, you wouldn't forget, okay? Be proactive about the situation and also, I'm the type of person, if I don't check off everything on my checklist, I freak out and I have to. It's just a satisfying thing that I need to do. Ah, uh, my work is done. Plus, it also helps you keep organized, which is a great plus. Number three, I hate to sound like a mom, but you've got to turn off your distractions. You don't have any urgent notifications. Your crush did not DM you back and you didn't go TikTok viral. So there's no notification ruining your state of flow because I know me and when I'm in like a flow of doing work, whether it's editing or school stuff and I get a notification, I'm just like, and then I go on my phone for like five hours because I lack self-control. So to be proactive about that, put it in another room. Just separate yourself from it. Put your phone on do not disturb, put it on airplane mode, if a family member is a distraction, if a little sibling is a distraction, find their off switch, bribe them to not bother you, that might work. Hey, I know you love to call for absolutely no reason and don't get me wrong, it's great, but can you not bother me for the next hour? Love you. <laughs> Numero cuatro, clean your study area, kitties. This is not going to cut it. And voila, we love to see it. Whether you're studying on your bed or your floor or you have like a designated workspace like a desk, keeping it clean, keeping it organized can really help limit your distractions. It's kind of similar to the tip I just gave. I know me and when there's a mess around me, I feel very just like, Ooh. As I was saying, limiting your distractions is really helpful and I'm telling you, as someone who lacks self-control when it comes to having things around me that can be played with, can be toyed around with, so clean your workspace ahead of time, just move everything off. I am giving you this tip because I care about you and I care about your eyesight. These days you're getting a lot more exposure to blue light that can be really harmful to your eyes, especially to look at for hours and hours on end. So I'm going to share with you how you can reduce that. I am sure by now you guys have obviously heard of blue light glasses. 
These are mine. They're from Felix Grey and they also make me feel a lot smarter than I am. This is not the tip I'm going to give you guys. If you have these, great. But if not, something all of you can do to help with the whole blue light thing is right on your computer. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna wanna go to your settings, click displays, go to the night shift tab. Literally right here, you can see the color temperature gauge. So you can make it more warm. Look at this. This is it right now, all the way warm. And then you can kind of just adjust it to what makes your eyes feel good. Not enough people know this trick and it's right at your fingertips and it's free. Go outside, enjoy nature, enjoy life. You might be thinking, Ava, easier said than done, which I agree, but it can be as simple as going on a walk, going outside. You need vitamin D, the sun. Ah, uh, my favorite vitamin D. <laughs> if you live in an apartment, go on the roof or out on like a balcony if you have one, or if you live someplace that has a lot of nature, just get outside for a little bit on a time that you have a break. Getting off your phone is really important. If you have a yard, go outside. Getting ready is something that has helped me so much during this whole thing of not leaving my house. And it doesn't mean you have to put on a full face of makeup or put on some crazy outfit. If you are studying medicine and you feel the need to wear a full outfit of scrubs to feel motivated, then that's what you have to do. But by getting ready, I mean just putting on something other than your pajamas. It can be something just as comfy, but just like changing out your clothes to kind of differentiate, okay, that was for sleep. Now it's time to get some work done. For me, getting ready and feeling productive means taking care of this. She's wild, she's crazy just like me. I do this every single day of life. Hair is out of my face for the day and I also feel like it gives off sexy librarian vibes. Maybe it's just curling your eyelashes or something small like washing your face. It really depends on the person, what makes you feel ready and productive. That's something that has really helped me. Obviously, if you're on Zoom, no one can smell you, but I can smell myself, so this is a must. You could quite possibly be meeting the love of your life on Zoom today. Don't you want to be ready for it? This is a tip that is kind of similar to what I was saying earlier about rewarding yourself, but it's to reward yourself at the end of the day with like something that's bigger, you know? Maybe it's cooking your favorite baked goods. Maybe it's seeing your boyfriend or girlfriend or your best friend being safe, of course. Taking a hot bath, doing some self care, just do something that's truly for yourself. It really gives you the motivation to like push through the whole day. Finally, this is the highlight of every night. I need to say this because I don't know who needs to hear it, but give yourself love. And if you choose not to, I'm going to give you some right now. You deserve a pat on the back. Online school can be really, really hard, really tough, especially if you're not used to it or didn't choose to do it. You're basically teaching yourself a subject. Give yourself some slack. Give yourself a little credit. Side note, Please be nice to your teachers because they're trying to figure things out as well. But anyways, just give yourself a little hug. Give yourself some love because you deserve it. And you seem to be lacking it. Do some things today that make you happy. Give yourself a nice old pat on the back from me. Hope you took some notes. If not, I wouldn't blame you. Make sure you share this video with a friend who might need these online school tips. If you stay to this point in the video, comment down below any school related emojis or another option you could share one of your tips to stay motivated because I know it's really hard these days. If you don't know, I have a vlog channel which I upload two to three times a week on, so that's a really good time. And also you should check out my Instagram because I'm always connecting with you guys on there. Thank you for watching. It is very hot. Um, That is all I have to say. Bye now.